Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome to Conan Exiles. I've just recently started playing that, and I thought, hey, why not do a couple of guides on how to get started? The game is vast, it's huge, but my god, it's addictive. On a recent live stream, I played it for six and a half hours straight, with the help of my community, take giving me all those pointers on how to navigate the Conan Exiles band. So what is it? Well, Conan Exiles is an open world survival game. There's no other way to say it. It is. It's all set in the brutal lands of Conan the Barbarian, uh, where you are exiled. And as you can see here, a wandering stranger comes and cuts you down from basically being crucified in the middle of the desert. So you start off very much hungry, thirsty, no clothes other than a loincloth, and you've got to fend for yourself. You can travel across the world, craft weapons, mine ore, build bases, go through survival trees and rank up your equipment and also then go and do some a couple of mischiefs and get their equipment. When you are strong enough the idea is there is you march forth into battle and rage war against your enemies. You can play it in single player and also in multiplayer. Now Conan Exiles is available on Steam and there's loads of updates and DLC to go with as well. With all that now being said, it's time to jump in and get through one of the most elementary parts of the game, and that's creating your barbarian, aesthetically, so it gives you something pleasing to look at when you're playing the game. Okay, so the first thing you have to decide is your gender. Here we are in the field, loads of people on poles. You've got to decide whether you're to be male or female. Clicking on female, for example, and then you're then given the option to change the character in any shape or form, aesthetically. So you can change race or you can click on this, for example, to randomize hairstyles by, you know, preset randomizations. For example, you can then choose a religion that will come on a little bit later on in the game. Next up, what's the voice going to be like? Strong voice, a desperate voice, a savage voice, or a stoic voice? Death is coming. The gods are watching. The gods are watching. The gods are watching. Death We're gonna go with this one. Is coming. Savage. Next, you've got head options. If you want to make any changes to the head, for example, hair color, face color, you name it, you can do it here. Hair, do you want to be a bit Daenerys Targaryen? Or do you want to get in there and go, hey, we'll have the color of raven, blackness. Uh, or any other of the other ones that you've got going on here. I'm going to leave it kind of like like that. Um, same with the eyebrows. Eyeshadow. Do you want to have the eyeshadow? Do you don't want to have eyeshadow? You can use this slider as well to circle through it. Lips. Any particular colour of lips you want. Completely up to you. Your face details, again, you can say with the chin, the jaw and what have you, you can change all of this. You can see it changing, fatness of the face there ever so slightly. Um, the width of the cheeks, height of the cheeks, up and down, and also the nose. Do you want a big old conch or do you want just a normal one? And then the scale of the nose as well, yes, you have all that sort of stuff. Depends up to you. It depends if this type part of the game is important to you. It really does. Um, you can also change back to male at any time. You haven't finalized your character yet. Okay. Now we've got nudity switched off here because we do family streams and family videos. The body features, this is quite a good one now. This is the physique. Do you want to be sort of like standard, normal? Taller, shorter, petite, or in the middle. Um, nudity, as you can see, you know, you've got partial 
you've got full. We're going to set it on none. And on the physique, how muscle bound do you want to be? Look how ripped that is. We're totally ripped or not at all. And also with this one, and also with the male characters, you've got breast size. Right. Same with the male. So the male characters with the body features as well. Look, the physique. Do you want to be more ripped? Not bothered about that. How big do you want those pecs? No time in the gym required. And then with no nudity as well, if you add that on, you could then go to the endowment side of things. Um, and the gentleman sausage. Okay. So that's kind of what we got. So we're going to play a female character in regards to this. Um, we're pretty much okay with what we got here. Again, you know, you can you can scroll through it all. It makes no real difference. Perhaps we'll just stick with that one. I'm not too bothered about it. The face details, I think, if you wanted to be, you know, really particular, this is what you would do. So once you've done all of that, you then say, finalize character. And then you can then change your name. There you go. And then confirm. During the year of the Cobra, a prisoner captured by unknown means was transported into the exiled lands, crucified and left to die for crimes that they may or may not have committed. Death comes swiftly on black wings until fate intervenes. Thirsty, dead woman. Shall I cut you down from that corpse tree? It might kill you. You civilized women are soft. Your lives are not nailed to your spines. from we kill our enemies in battle we don't leave them in the desert to die like dogs so you live again dead woman this land does not love men the ghost fence wearing that <laughs> it might have been kinder to leave you on the cross live love burn with life slay and survive we will meet again dead woman And there you have it. We are 100% now ready to get into this game. So, you've designed your barbarian. 
you've had the little bit of intro, the talky-talky bit, and now it's time to get on with the game. <laughs> 